one in, guys. Uh, log into your computers. Log on to Edline. While you're waiting, work on your warm up. Please get out your warm up paper, work on your warm up. Today, we're going to be representing squares, cubes, square roots, and cube roots geometrically. And actually, we're going to really stick with the squares and the square roots. And we are going to be calculating the distance on an xy coordinate plane. You're going to essentially be using that Pythagorean theorem. So like I said, keep that in mind as you're working through these. Make sure your name is in the upper right hand corner of your paper. Go ahead and turn your tablets around. I want you to go to links. It's going to send it to me, I think. Links, and I want you to click on for distance formula thing link. So links is in the bottom right. Obviously, make sure you're on our math page. And you should get something that looks like this. When you move your cursor over the picture, you will see those icons or those tags, whatever you want to call them. When your cursor's not over top of it, you won't see them. So if you're not seeing them, you just have to move your cursor over top of them. If you remember the last time we did a thing link, we're going to do something very similar. Um, you're going to take some notes. You're going to work through some problems. You're going to watch some videos. And I think there's even, and even a song in there. So you're going to listen to that. So right now you can kind of put the tablets aside, grab your active expressions, the papers they've handed out, go ahead and do number one, bless you. When you finish it, put your answer in your active expression. Let me see your two answers. The only thing I would say is just, bless you, include more of the steps of how you get your answer, okay? So include that, make it look a little bit more formal so that if you have to explain how or why you got your answer, you have that. Does that make sense to you? So state your formula and then substitution. Okay. Um, a couple of the errors that I'm seeing is just simple calculation errors. I don't know if this is going to let me bring it up. It's not. Simple calculation errors, okay? So be careful with that. Pay attention to subtracting negatives and squaring a negative number. If you square a negative number, you always get a positive. 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 So think about that. If you have negative 9 squared and you get a negative 81, mm -mm. okay? So be careful with that. So what this does is at the end of the class period, it does it live too, but I just downloaded it um, or exported it into Excel. It tells me how well they did on the last two questions. So the green means they both they got them right. The red means they got one of them wrong. If it's blank, it means the student didn't get to the second question. So I can easily look through this and see, okay, the first question, everybody but two people got it um, correct. The second question, they definitely seem to have a little bit more issues with. Um, and you can also see their exact answers if they got it wrong, so you can kind of see common errors. A lot of students got six and seven tenths for the second one. 
so I can go through and see what common error they're doing there. This student was just a rounding error, so they got it correct, they just rounded it wrong. Um, so it's nice because at the end I can get a really good idea of what they need more help on tomorrow and what we can move on with.